Hello and thanks for watching this video on Metaboscape featuring T-Rex, the centerpiece for metabolomics and lipidomics workflows. In this particular video, I'd like to highlight an example how trapped ion mobility separation or TIMS enabled to separate two co-eluting isobaric lipids and at the same time that it provided accurate and reproducible CCS values for high confident lipid identification based on CCS PREDICT, the machine learning algorithm implemented in Metaboscape. Further details can be found in the Rooker application node LCMS 158 called Using Parallel Accumulation Serial Fragmentation ASEF, to speed up untargeted 4D lipidomics LCMSMS workflows. What we investigated in this application node was based on the SRM 1950 lipid extract. So SRM 1950 is a commercial available reference plasma available from NIST. And we investigated deep profiling versus high throughput approaches. What I mean by this is that we used a long comparably long LC separation of 20 minute runtimes, which really enables a deep investigation of the lipidome. And then we decreased the LC analysis time to 11 minutes and to six minutes. Why? Because what we hear is that in particular in clinical research studies, there's a common demand for higher throughput applications. But this higher throughput means you have less time to separate the lipids on the chromatographic domain. And the challenge is that isobaric lipids can easily co-elute. This is actually what we also found in our data when we decreased the analysis time to six minutes. You see in red the base peak chromatogram trace. And down here I highlighted two extracted ion chromatograms of isobaric lipids. On the one hand, the PC342E with a mass of 744.591 and the isobaric lipid PE362 also with a mass, a nominal mass of 744.55. Down here you see the MS spectrum and you can nicely see that both precursor ions are present and they are different only by 36 millidalton. On a typical QTOF instrument, an isolation window for isolating precursors of one Dalton is applied. But even if you go down to half a Dalton or 0.1 Dalton, it's not enough to separate those two co-eluting isobaric lipids with the quadrupole. And the result of this is shown in this MSMS spectrum here, that you get a mixed MSMS spectrum from both signals. You see the characteristic head group fragment of mass 184 from the PC. And we can also see here the characteristic neutral loss of 141 for the PE. And what we are desiring is, of course, clean MSMS spectra with those two lipids separated. And this is what I would like to show you now in the Metaboscape software. Here you can see the Metaboscape overview perspective with the five replicates of SRM 9050 separated using a five minute reverse phase gradient and acquisition in PASEF mode. Down here, this is the so-called bucket table with all the T-Rex 4D extracted features. If we scroll down, you can see actually that a lot of lipid classes were annotated. But I'm now specifically interested in the lipids with the measured mass of 744. And Metaboscape enables different filtering options, like for the measured mass of the precursor. And if I apply this filter, you can see that the list I can focus on is very much reduced. I also know that the lipids I'm interested in here elude between four and five minutes. So I can apply multiple filters to really focus my 
attention to where I want to look at. And you can see this is the PE362, which I just showed you in the PowerPoint presentation before. If we look at the retention time, we can see that it's eluting at 4.63 minutes. And we got the isobaric PC species eluting really at the same retention time as we can see in the chromatographic view. When we look into the mass spectra, the MSMS spectra for the PE, we can see that the characteristic neutral loss of 141 is present. We see the fragment ion of 603 in the PE spectrum. If we select the PC, we can see that we get a clear indication that this is a PC lipid because we can see the characteristic fragment of the head group 184. But what you can also observe is that we don't get mixed spectra like we saw before in the PowerPoint where we applied data dependent MSMS without PASEF speaking, without trapped ion mobility separation. So here we get really clean MSMS spectra, which enables us to tell we've got a PC and a PE species here. What we can also see is we got different CCS values and these different CCS values, we can look into the mobilogram here of the PC and in this case here two ions were extracted. I focus on the M plus H only and if I zoom in, we can see why we get clean MSMS -MS spectrum. The reason is that on the LC domain, we could not separate these isobars, but on the trapped ion mobility separation domain, we could separate the precursor based on their mobility. The tiny peak here with a CCS value of 280 corresponds to our PE lipid. You see here, this is the intensity shown as a bar. It's lower intense compared to the PC with a CCS value of 288. What else can we do to increase our confidence that we are really looking here at a lipid class of PC 342E? What we can do is we can search our local analyte DB by name and I'm searching here for PC 342E and you see we get an a result here for a possible structure and if I do the CCS prediction what you can see in the result here is the measured CCS value of the M plus H and the predicted value using CCS predict a machine learning based algorithm that's based on the concept from Zhu et al lipid CCS and we can see that it deviates by only 0.5% measured versus predicted. You see, I deselected earlier on the chromatographic trace that T-Rex also extracted the sodium adduct and it calculates, of course, also the CCS value, does a prediction, and here we got a prediction versus measured of basically 0%. So this increases the confidence that we are looking here at a lipid class of PC342E. What about the second example, the PE? If I do the same, I search here for the name and I got a hit here for PE362, do the CCS prediction, and you can see for the M plus H, which we found, we got a deviation of measured versus predicted CCS value of only 0.5%. And with this, I hope I could show you how accurate CCS values can help to increase the confidence in lipid identification. How to be sure about the specific lipid species and which fatty acids are com combined. I will highlight this in a further short video because Metaboscape enables to combine spectra acquired in positive and negative mode. And if you combine both, this is how you can really pinpoint the lipid classes.
So, in summary, I hope I could show you that PASF enables to increase sample throughput for 4D lipidomics profiling by almost a factor of 4, that TIMS can separate co-eluting isobaric lipids and provides accurate and reproducible CCS values, which can be used to confirm structures using CCS predict for lipids. If you're interested in further information, I kindly invite you to visit our Bruker.com homepage where you can find the application note that I highlighted in this video, the LCMS 158. There's a poster note available detailing more the CCS predict for 4D lipidomics and the new Metabolomics Lipidomics brochure 2019 is also available. And for this, I would like to thank you for your attention.